Hi everyone and welcome back. Are you struggling trying to mix the song using the mixing console? So many tracks, don't know where to start and you're not really sure how to adjust the levels, how to balance the mix. Well, maybe you are a visual mixer. Maybe that will help. How about the Neutron 3 visual mixer? Like this one. Yes, I know that's so oh, hard for you to see. You can visually adjust where you like all Don't your different instruments. Let go of me now. Take all of my hand. Walk me to some. Well, if this is something you are interested in, well, stick around because I'm going to show you how to download it, how to get the free license key, how to set it up and then use it to start visually mixing your song. So let's get started. Step number one. Visit Isotope's website, isotope.com and create a free online account if you don't have one already. By the way, as a side note, again, this is not a sponsored video, I have no association with Isotope, but I think Isotope's Element Suite for plugins for $29, I think it's a really great deal. If you don't have it, I would recommend it. Once your account has been verified through the email confirmation and verification, go to the website again and log into your account. Select Products, scroll down, Neutron Tree, and click Learn More. Next, click 10 day free trial download. Don't download it yet. And as you scroll down at the bottom of the page, you will see that you have the download visual mixer and the download relay and your own serial numbers. Now an email will also be sent with those serial numbers included as well. So don't worry if you think you lose this website. And when you even come back, as long as you are logged into your account, those serial numbers will still appear. And even when you log on to your account and you go to purchase history, those serial numbers will also appear listed there as well, alongside any other product that you have either purchased or got it for free. Next, click on product download and download the Isotope software download and authorization app. Once you've downloaded and installed the Isotope product portal and logged in using the same credentials, the username and the password that you use for the website, any product that you have registered will appear here just like mine. Now in my case, because I have already installed the relay and the visual mixer, it's appearing under my products and I can click install and this will download, install and authorize both products. But if you don't find it under my products, you can go to the trials and it'll be listed here. And from here you can click install, which will download and install those two products. You don't really need to download and install Neutron Tree Advanced. I mean, you are welcome to if you want to give it a try for 10 days, but you don't really have to download and install it because you already have the license numbers that Isotope has already given you for those two sub products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click install and install both the relay, which says it's free, as well as my visual mixer. And I'll come back and continue from then. The Isotope product portal already downloaded and installed it. Now it's asking me, we're almost done and let's authorize. So I'm just going to click authorize and I'm going to choose to my computer to be authorized. We can also choose iLock, but I don't have iLock. So I'm just going to choose my computer and I'm going to activate it. And success. 
and now my visual mixer is installed and authorized to be used on this computer. Next, I'm going to do the same with the relay. Again, same procedure. And relay is now installed and authorized on this computer, ready to be used. So we are good to go. We can now close the Isotope product portal and open up our DAW and see what we can do. In this demonstration, I'm going to use Cakewalk by BandLab because it's a free DAW and it's a fantastic one. But of course, the procedure is very similar in your own choice of DAW. I do have a project loaded. Now this could be a song that you would have recorded or you are trying to make someone else's recording. The procedure is the same. Of course, one thing we need to make sure is that the new plugins that we just installed that our DAW can recognize it. In Cakewalk by BandLab, we just go to Utilities, Cakewalk Plugin Manager. And then we just click Scan VST Plugins. And if you are confronted with some issues, the plugin is not being detected, consult your DAW's documentation or the health forums to find out how to detect them and enable them in your DAW. A brief overview of how the visual mixer works. Remember, we have the relay and the visual mixer as two separate plugins. The concept is that the visual mixer uses the relay plugin to adjust how you visually can mix. Instead of using your mixing console, you're going to use your visual mixer to adjust the volumes, the panning left and right, the width, and so on. So the concept is we install the relay plugin on each of our track or channel as the last plugin. Now, because we are at the moment just starting to balance everything out, technically we should not have any plugins on our tracks or on our channels. If you'd like to find out how I normally mix a song or start to mix a song, I do have videos on my channel describing that concept. In short, we start balancing our mix first then we dive in into each of the channels or the tracks to fine tune and edit them using equalization and compression. Using my plugins, audio effects under isotope, I can actually see now I have the relay and visual mixer. Now you might see there's duplicates of it only because one of them is a VS3 edition and the other one is VST2. Now Cakewalk supports both, but I'm going to use the VSC3 edition. All you got to do is drag it into our effects box. And that's what it actually looks like. It has a fader, pattern, width, a filter as well, mono stereo option, phase option, and left right swapping as well. And a few other things which may look at later on. So I'm going to go ahead and add the relay plugin on all of my channels. And I'll be right back. That step is all done. Next, let's add the Neutron Tree Visual Mixer. For that, for better demonstration, I might use the Mixing Console. You might notice that my Mixing Console, all of my channels are going to a bus called Mix Bus. And that is just simply a, an auxiliary bus, it's, which is right there. So all of my channels are summed into this Mix Bus. So here, let's add the alternative way of installing plugins, isotope, neutron tree visual mixer. And here we are. And that's what it looks like. Just gonna center it. You can see all of our channels are right there. And they are all centered at zero dB as it would be. Now this next step is crucial for Cakewalk as well as in your DAW if it supports it. Now because the visual mixer requires a stereo panning, even though your tracks are mono, like in this case, most of my tracks are all in mono. There are no stereo tracks. I think there's only one stereo there might be uh, that's been recorded stereo. But other than that, everything is mono. To allow the visual mixer to access the stereo field, 
In cakewalk, we need to make sure that our interleave is not in mono. Got to make sure that it's the symbol, as you see, is sort of like a bow tie instead of a triangle. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to get my Congos into a mono a switch mode. Open up Visual Mixer. Select my Congo. As you can see, I can't really take them left or right. But if I go, let's say, my um, base, I can move it everywhere. Anywhere I want, I can make it wider, narrower, but not the Congos until I actually switch them into stereo mode. As you can see, just from the side, I just switch them there. Now, when I select, I should be able to move them anywhere I want. So if you get sort of stuck and going, how come I can't move it from the center? That's only because your channel or your track is in mono mode. Even though the content could be mono, you still need to check and make sure that it's a stereo channel to allow the visual mixer to move it around. So I'm just going to double click everything, put it back to the center, and we are now ready to visually mix our song. I've selected the section of the song where most of my instruments are playing, so uh, let's uh, give it a try. sense of what I'm trying to do. As you can see, I'm visually arranging all of the different instruments to give me a basic balance of all the different instruments in the whole context of the song. And you can visually keep doing this until you get stage with the if different instruments balanced correctly to your ear. I'm just going to add some reverb effect just to enhance the experience of me mixing this song. I've just added the Sonatus Reverb onto my Reverb uh, channel, Auxiliary channel, and the Relay after that as well, so I can control that through Visual Mixer as well. I have set some Reverb stands on some of the tracks that I want, especially the vocal. Let's open our Visual Mixer, and now we have the Reverb there as well. Without taking too long, I'm just going to use that as well, so give you some idea of how it works. Cracked, I fear, and I know that's so. Yes, I know that's so oh, hard for you to see. Don't let go of me now. Take hold. Walk me to some sweet and holy land All the rose and wisteria appear Was it the little things that we said 
all those little ways we hid is there a part well, that's the Isotopes Neutron Tree Visual Mixer that you can download, install and use all for free with no limitation. If this video helps you to visually mix your song, then make sure, please, to give me the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, any questions, leave in the comment section below. i always uh, roaming around there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well, if you wish so. As always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. See you in the next video. Cheerio.